Okay, we're going to do a recap here of the mess you see in front of you. Uh, what we're trying to do is build a parabolic network. Parabolic dish network. Right now we're using the dish network 500 dish that, that had a dual nose cone. We've already taken that apart. And the direct TV RCA dish. We've already taken the nose cone on that. It's a little hot from the sun. What we've gone and done is in a Dremel, we removed the silicon from the back of the nose cone here. We pulled out the guts. As you see on this one, we've kind of destroyed it a bit. It's not necessary because we're going to put an antenna in there in its place. Um, and we took a 5 16 drill bit and made sure the hole where the old RF coaxial um, connector went into um, to make it wide enough for the adapter to fit through with the cable. We did this twice, obviously for one dish and one for the other one. Um, and then since we had a dual nose cone, one of them we haven't done anything to, so we'll have a spare. We'll just use one side for now. Um, we have an Emax um, at wireless access point, and I think that's the one we're going to use. However, we're being out, we're out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, so I don't know if the temperature rating for that is going to be st strong enough. I think its temperature max is only 40 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and we reach temperatures of about 120 here sometimes. Um, being in a closed um, compartment, we're going to have a small box for it. Uh, it may reach a higher temperature. So we're going to try and get something at about 40 degrees Celsius, or not 40 degrees, uh, 60 degrees Celsius, which should give us a, quite a significant temperature capability. Next, um, we will put the antenna right inside the nose cone piece. So you can see it'll be fairly simple to do that right inside the, right inside the back here. Um, we'll probably use some hot glue or something to keep it in place, just tack it in the back. And the antenna will poke right in the front there. We'll be able to replace the nose cone right back up on top of it. And then place the outer casing back on it. And then be able to mount it on our dish. And that ends the work that we've done right now. And again, you can follow all the individual screenshots of me, of me taking the, the nose cone and the dishes apart.